Okay, we're back on this e-golf, about the fifth video or so. Now I told you, this isn't running in a negative vacuum on the low side, it's in a vacuum. Not positive pressure, negative pressure. Can you imagine somebody seeing negative pressure and the technician's going, oh my God, your expansion valve is bad. Let's change the expansion valve. Wrong. Okay guys, you have to look at my long explanation. This is a heat pump, full electric vehicle. You're in a world of hurt. Can you imagine how many guys are gonna be disconnecting? Well, this is running and it's under a negative vacuum. If you have a weak valve and it pulls inwards, it's gonna pull air into the system because it's in a vacuum. The guys who don't properly turn off their hoses and they leave the hose dangling and it's open because they have old analog gauges where the center doesn't have a turn off and they go to open up the low side because they're not sure they're seeing a negative and they're going what's with this negative and they open it up they have a fully charged system it'll suck air right into the system we're going to make a lot of money off this from technicians who don't have experience technicians who don't read technicians who don't go to macs and go to the yearly expo and seminars for training this is going to cause problems with te technicians being in a negative check out the superheat so here's uh let's go to the superheat negative seven superheat it's right in around 1.2 degrees of superheat 1.4 1.2 1. but it dips and it shuts off at negative 7.4 superheat let's get back our pressures see the dips in the compressors uh and the pressure so it goes it's this is when it shuts off 90 psi now let's see if I could get you to zoom in here and focus again. There you go. We're running at around 107 PSI on the high side. You're gonna hear the compressor turn off in a minute. There, it just turned off. Now listen, I'm gonna put the, there's the compressor. I'm gonna touch the phone to the compressor. It's pretty damn quiet because it's inside the soundproof sleeve. Oh, if any of you want to look up some part numbers here and learn more about this valve right there. There we go, focus, come on, there you go. There you go. So that's located right here and we're hot right here. This is uh, 90 some degrees right here. This is 32 degrees right here. This is just just at the cutting edge where it almost wants to make icicles. So are you guys ready to work on this? Are you gonna condemn the expansion valve because the pressure is negative 1.5? Are you ready to change the expansion valve on this because of that? Tell me what you think. Let's watch our superheat and subcooling right here. Look at our subcooling. Look at our superheat. Tell me that this makes sense. It's a different world, guys. We gotta get rid of those can shaking jerks in our industry. They gotta go. They have to be eliminated. Do you imagine some can shaker guy who goes to Walmart and he has a little shop and he's the old fashioned guy. I'm supposed to see 30. Oh, a good example, AC Pro. Use AC Pro and keep filling it up with refrigerant until you're somewhere around 30 PSI and it's in the green side with a can of AC Pro. Can you imagine what's gonna happen on this one? Come on, AC Pro, I take you to the challenge. Show me that your little green arrow on your little gauge is good on this one at negative four vacuum. See you guys, AC Pro all the way. We're gonna make a lot of money on these cars.